blood transfusion in dogs is becoming increasingly more common in the treatment of critically ill animals. The significance of blood groups in veterinary transfusiology is based on three factors. Incidence of antigens, naturally occurring antibodies in dog populations, and the reaction of antibodies and antigens in people. An ideal blood donor is a large breed, healthy dog who has a clone demeanor, has never received a blood transfusion before and weights an average 25 to 28 kilograms. The blood volume is measured prior to donation to prevent anemia and hypovolemia. Dogs can donate blood once a month if they have regular good nutrition and iron supplementation. Blood is usually taken from the jugular vein or the cephalic vein. In order for the transfusion to be successful and safe, it's necessary to check whether the blood groups of the donor and recipient are compatible or not. This procedure is also known as blood typing. There is a wide variety of tests used for blood typing, but the most common is cross-matching. According to our research, 20% of the cross-match samples were incompatible. There are several blood group systems in dogs. DEA, which means dog erythrocyte antigen, nomenclature is the most common in modern literature. Besides, the TIA system, VAL, CHI-1 and CHI-2 have also been found. However, ongoing research shows that there are more antigens yet to be identified. Out of 12 recognized blood groups, 8 are considered as international standards. If after at least 4 days, which is the minimum period for erythrocyte antibody production, the transfusion is repeated, acute hemolytic transfusion reaction and destruction of all transmitted erythrocytes will likely occur within 12 hours. Symptoms of this reaction include trembling, urticaria, vomiting, uncontrolled defecation, incontinence, and shortness of breath, which occur within one hour from the start of the transfusion. The first blood transfusion can be carried out on all dogs without the risk of acute hemolytic reaction occurring because of the lack of natural antibodies. Thus, there is no need to determine the recipient's blood group before the procedure. Blood typing is not mandatory, but it's nevertheless recommended to carry out whenever possible, especially if more than one blood transfusion is expected. However, blood typing in emergency procedure is often not as feasible. Universal donor dog is negative for TIA 1.1, 1.2, 3, 4, and 7, and positive for TIA 4 blood groups. However, if the goal is to avoid acute hemolytic reaction, a TIA 1.1 and 1.2 negative dog is sufficient. While to prevent moderate to severe hemolytic reactions, a TIA 1.1 negative dog is adequate. There is no blood group in dogs that could be considered as universal recipient. In such situations, the most important is to use blood in which the blood group is already determined.